Do you expect more cases to come in? The more people you test, the more probability you're going to get. Another outbreak developing in Willacy County, this one at the county jail. Nine confirmed infections so far, and that's just since Monday. Here's Christian Von Pricey. At the Willacy County Jail right now, nine positive cases of the coronavirus, five inmates, four employees, and now a testing effort to check all 77 people who worked or were incarcerated there. All persons in custody were tested. Those results are still pending. After the first sign, testing started Monday for all 42 jail staff. Then Thursday for the rest of the 35 inmates. Inmate cases that we have are inmates that were tested on Monday because they had uh, symptoms of COVID-19. Test results are still pending. Officials also extending testing to police who may have entered here recently. We know we know we're going to get more additional cases. Yes. As far as the number, we don't know until the test results come back. So, so we, we did test our entire staff along with any other uh, assisting law enforcement agency. And, and by that, I mean any, any law enforcement agency that brings prisoners to our jail. Now they're taking additional steps here. A contractor came in for a deep clean. Inmates are issued masks. The county approved and is now working to build a negative pressure room to isolate positive inmates. Any inmate that's, that's uh, found positive is isolated to a cell by themselves. Until we run out of cells, then we'll be able to put those people that are positive together in that one cell. The jail right now, about half of its capacity of 94 inmates. So inmate patients are still able to be isolated. County Judge Guerra now asking the state for a countywide test drive to control the spread. We have 40 plus employees that work there, a lot of them whom live within our county, and so, so we know they have families. That new testing service will start Monday, June 8th and continue throughout next week. No pre-registration required for anybody who wants a test, and those tests will be done free of charge. The hope is that we get a large turnout at these portable turnout uh, testing sites. That's our goal. An effort to control the spread. We'll have details about that upcoming test drive on our website. Christian Von Pricing, Channel 5 News, Raymondville.